Hey guys, and welcome back to another Subaru WRX vlog. Today we're going to talk about a little bit of a test and some research that I did for how much does it cost to insure a Subaru WRX Limited. I'm just about done with school in New Hampshire and I'm looking at a bunch of new potential states to move to. So finding out how much it was gonna to cost to insure my car in those states was an important factor in planning and saving some money. Before we get a little bit into what I found, if you wanna see more automotive content or more WRX content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So for everyone that's looking to insure a car, especially a WRX, there's a couple factors that affect your rate. There's your age, how long you've had your driver's license, how much the car is worth, the type of driving you're doing, where you live, how much driving you're doing, and the parameters of your insurance. For everything that I speak about today, we're talking about the highest level of insurance. It's 100, 300 for everything that could be 100, 300, and then and zero deductibles for collision and comprehensive. Let me give you a little bit of a background of my uh, user statistics. I'm 22 years old, I've owned three cars. I've had my license since I'm, I was 16. I saw my big insurance drop rate at when I turned 21. I don't have any points on my record. I've never been pulled over for a speeding ticket. I've never got a ticket, a violation, or anything like that. So I have a pretty clean driving record. I've also never submitted an insurance claim on a vehicle. So how much do I pay right now for my insurance? I have Geico insurance with full coverage and I pay $148 a month. Now that's really good because a couple months ago I would have been paying in the high 300s just because of my age. Now that's still a pretty good rate, especially because I drive a limited model, but it's also really because I live in New Hampshire. Now I live in a relatively populated area, the Portsmouth area of New Hampshire. Um, the other populated areas are Manchester, Nashua, uh, smaller cities like that. However, it's still really cheap in New Hampshire. So the states that I tested, I tested Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, and Illinois, the Chicago area. Let's talk about what I found. With all the same coverages and all the same information, same age, not looking ahead a couple months because it really doesn't matter, I found that in Massachusetts, it would cost me $250 a month to insure my car. I had a very similar rate in Illinois in the Chicago area, about $250. It went up a little bit more to about $275 for New York City and New Jersey and all the other major cities around the Northeast. So to finish up my study, because I just didn't want to talk about only cities, I looked at information kind of across the country. I filled out pretty much one insurance policy thing for three different companies for about 15, 20 states, and then put it all into an Excel sheet, got a range, got some statistics. So for a 22 year old male with a clean driving record and some of the highest coverages, it's gonna cost roughly from $120 all the way up to $400, depending on where you're living and the type of driving you're doing. Now, I guess I didn't mention before, I list my driving as moderate driving, mainly for school and commuting to my internship. That's anywhere between 30 and 50 miles a day. Now I actually do a lot more driving, but if you look at the standard deviation of my driving and the mean over the seven days of the week, I don't do that much. I only commute to my internship four days a week, which is much farther away. So what does that mean for you? As you get older and as you have more years of having your license without any incidents, your insurance rate's gonna go down. And I think an important factor going forward when you're looking at insuring your own WRX is the fact that somebody my age is looking at between 100, 120, and $400. Now, I only pay 138 now. I likely will be in the Boston area, so I might be looking at 250. As I get closer to 25, which is really like the big downward slope in insurance costs, I'll likely see go back to the 140 area for this car. Now, I might not have this car until that point, but that gives you a rough estimate of what it might cost for you to insure your car. For all you young guys out there, you're probably looking at the high 300s if you haven't had your license for a long time. For all you guys that are older in your mid to late 20s and older than that, you're probably around what I pay at 135, 140 bucks. Well, thanks for watching guys. Comment below what you pay for your insurance. I'm curious, I'm sure everyone else watching this video is, is curious. And it's, it's a really important factor when you're trying to find a car and trying to find out whether or not you can afford to keep the car and own the car and drive it on a daily basis. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below.